Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a broken exhaust manifold bolt out of the cylinder head of a Dodge Ram with a Hemi. Now, normally these bolts break off with enough sticking out of the head so that you can grab them with a pair of pliers and unthread them, and they normally come right out. Sometimes they even come out by hand. But this one broke off below the surface. So I'm gonna use this tool from Bidler CNC. It's called the Mana Bolt Driller. It's basically a template that you bolt up to the cylinder head that allows you to drill directly into the center of the bolt. So I'm gonna bolt this template up to the cylinder head using the good holes that are around the one with the broken stud. And I'm gonna put several of these bolts in and then snug them up. Now I've had the kit with these templates for years and I have them for several different vehicles, including the GM LS motor, the 3.7 liter Chrysler motor, the 4.7 and the 5.7. And they've just come out with several new ones, including the 5 liter Coyote engine and the 6.2 liter Ford, as well as a universal template kit. The company is a small family owned business and all of their products are made right here in the USA. Now that we have this template snugged up to the cylinder head with the supplied hardware, we can grab a drill guide starting with the smallest first, which is a 3 16 and then we will work up to quarter inch and finally a 1764 and these three drill guides are the ones that are going to be most likely used these work with the eight millimeter by one two five which are found on most modern vehicles for the manifold bolts and studs if your vehicle has something different then when you order the kit they probably have a different drill guide and drill bit for that kit so i'm just using this thumb screw to tighten that drill guide down and it has a tapered seat that sits down into the tapered hole into the template and my right angle drill would not fit in this case so I had to come up with a different solution this is a drill truck that runs on a quarter inch drive air ratchet but even that I couldn't get my air ratchet on there so I tried fully assembled couldn't get it in there I had to take the drill guide off of the template, pre-assemble it on my drill, and then hook it back up into the vehicle. And these drill bits are very short that I'm using. If you don't have any of these very short drill bits, you may want to buy some. If you're ordering a template, they offer the drill bits at the same time. Um, I'm actually using one of those short drill bits, but I had to cut it down about a half an inch to fit it in here. Once you have all of this assembled, you can go ahead and start drilling. And I did not have to drill very far before these studs started to screw into the head. And I'll zoom in so you can see that. So right here you can see the drill bit goes into the head rapidly. That is the stud screwing in. At this point my drill bit was not long enough to keep drilling in the center of that bolt. So I had to take the assembly apart, extend my drill bit out just a little bit, and I could continue drilling into the center of the bolt. You're going to want to take the drill guide off of the template every once in a while anyways and clean out the shavings so this wasn't a big deal. So I extended my drill bit out another quarter inch or so, put the drill guide back onto the template and continued to drill. And you're going to want to use a right hand drill bit because if you use a left hand drill bit and it catches the bolt and tries to spin it like this one did, It'll force the bolt into the drill guide and it can break it. So I'm just drilling a little bit deeper since I know the bolt is going to move. I'm just giving myself enough room in there to take this back apart and use a left handed drill bit to try and get the bolt to come out. And if that doesn't work, then I will drill all the way through it with this 3 16 drill bit and then I'll move up to a quarter inch and then finally a 764 and then I can run a tap through it and clean out any extra debris. The 764 drill bit is very close to the minor diameter of the bolt, meaning that if you use that drill bit to drill into the bolt, the only thing that will be left is the threads. And you can normally pick those out with a pick or a screwdriver or just run a tap through it and it'll clean them out. So now that I have that template off, I'm going to blow out the hole. And then I'm going to spray a little bit of lubricant in there and try and get that bolt to come out. 
And here I'm just using a left-handed drill bit that I actually cut down and I'm using it in that same drill chuck but with a hand ratchet instead of an air ratchet. And I'm just using this bar for additional leverage to push into the bolt to get it turning. And at this point, the bolt is coming out. So now that I know it's catching, I can take it out the rest of the way by hand. And I'm leaving the template in place just because it keeps debris from falling into the exhaust port. And if that valve is open, that debris could enter the cylinder. So if this bolt comes out all in one piece, then I'm done. The threads will be nice and clean. I can take the template off and put my exhaust manifold back on. It appears that the threads in the head are in good shape, so I'm gonna take this template back off, clean up the cylinder head surface, and put a new exhaust manifold and gasket on here. Anytime I replace an exhaust manifold or even the exhaust manifold gasket on a modern V8 engine, I always replace the hardware, whether that's just a bolt kit or studs and nuts, because the heat cycles cause those bolts to become brittle, and a lot of times when you tighten them back up, they'll break off. And here's another shot of that bolt hole, just making sure that I don't need to run a tap through it and clean up the threads, but everything looks good. So here's the kit I got. This is the kit for the Hemi. It came with the three different size drill guides, thumb screw to hold them to the template, the tapered screws to center it all up. And I believe I ordered it with a couple extra drill bits. And then that is the broken bolt that I extracted and the rest of it that was laying on the frame rail. And like always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell notification icon. And I will go ahead and put a link down in the description of where you can find this product. It's called the Mana Bolt Driller. And they make several different templates for different makes and models, including some turbo diesel applications. So if you're wondering if they make one that fits your vehicle, head over to their website and check out the application guide. If you have any questions or comments for me, go ahead and put them down below, and I'll see you guys next time.